Hi, I'm Tiffany Davis. I'm one of the co-founders of Context & Co, uh, a creative brand marketing studio based in Brooklyn, New York. I run Context & Co with my sister, Amber. Um, we started about three years ago, um, actually on International Women's Day in 2017, so that was March. Um, and ever since then, we hit the ground running, just helping brands, helping clients, helping founders, figure out ways to, as we say, help their outsides match their insides. Um, so we say that we're brand storytellers, but all that really means is that we help people think through the ways that they can show up in the world that reflect the values that are held most closely to them, their most authentic brand offerings, um, and the things that they're bringing to the table that can help people's lives be better, um, that are of higher quality than their competitors, um, or are just plain cool and inspiring. Um, this ranges from commercial clients like Daily Harvest and Fila um, to pro bono clients like Girls Right Now. Um, one of the questions that you guys asked is how our work has been transformed in the wake of COVID-19 and shelter in place. So here in New York City, we are still pretty highly um, sheltered. Um, so we try and limit our day-to-day -day and real live interactions. Um, so photo shoots that we'd be working on for former clients like Zappos Kids, um, that would involve, you know, 10 people clustered head down over a laptop or over a camera looking at stills from the day can no longer happen. Um, a lot of times that also means that potential work that we have gets put on the table or gets shelved um, for a while or projects that we'd already pretty much aligned on for the beginning of the year through this time are scaled back. Um, Amber and I really want to stick with most of our clients um, as tightly as we can and just hold hands on the fact that a lot of their projects and a lot of their visions and goals and budgets are also in jeopardy. Um, but from our perspective, that means that we're still doing just as much work interfacing with clients. Um, we're doing just as much work renegotiating contracts going back to people that might be featured in ad campaigns, adjusting expectations for asks, um, and trying to be as understanding as possible that all of our time is now even more fractured and even more you know, blended um, than it was before. I'm recording this right now as my husband is out and about with my two and a half year old, but things would be a lot less quiet <laughs> on this recording if, he were here with me and that's just the day-to-day -day reality. You know, the work is still being done and the work is still being produced. The conference calls and the meetings are still being hosted and held. Um, it's just that a lot of us have a lot more things going on in the background. And I think that translates not just to me as an entrepreneur, but to every person that still is fortunate enough to be working and making um, an income right now. I wanted to share with you quickly, if I could, just some of the ways that we have still been really showing up in the world as a brand that we believe in. Um, so I'm gonna go to screen share. And right now what you're looking at is um, a peek at our Instagram feed. So Amber and I are really proud of the content that we put out in the world um, on a daily basis. And a lot of it, you know, traditionally has been self-promotional. But as we've pivoted um, in the last couple of months, we've really been proud of continuing to work with the nonprofit girls right now um, as empowerment and speaking coaches. So working with their mentees um, in a writing and ongoing mentoring program as storytelling coaches um, for their you know, culmination event in May. And then also having the honor of interviewing best-selling author Kylie Reed. Um, she's the author of Such a Fun Age about her experience as a writer, how she's finding rest and still finding sources of creativity and care for herself at this time, um, and then also plugging sources of inspiration of our own for people within our own community and out in the world. Um, anything from like a life drawing class that we found and are promoting for free at this point to content that just puts smiles on people's faces. Um, we really have found it's important to continue to seek ways of joy and self renewal at this time, just to keep able, just to be able to keep up the work um, that I think all of us are seeing now is unpaid, um, has formally been unacknowledged or unamplified, but is entirely important for all of us as people in this world right now. Um, so that's a peek at that. Let's see, this is kind of new to me, this medium. So here's some more work.
from Girls Right Now. We were interviewed for their own site. I'm super psyched about that. And then finally in December, we put together a really small scale pilot of a donation program to a local women and children's shelter here in Brooklyn. Um, we just went and dropped off a bunch of coats when the weather was starting to get really, really frigid outside. We promoted it to our own community just purely via Instagram and just fell in love with the coordinators and the program managers that are there. They're just so on it. Amber and I really had a vision of stepping into 2020 with the ability to have a lot of our for-profit work boy and pay for a lot of unpaid and volunteer and pro bono work we were hoping to do. And Providence House is just one example. Um, we think that that work is not only still a good idea, but is even more vital um, at the time that we're living in right now. A lot of programming and a lot of funds are being shifted around to places that seem like they're trending or hot topic, but are also being diverted. And our attention is sometimes being diverted from the things that have always kind of helped less acknowledged people and causes in our community sustain themselves. Um, and so, a grant or any help at this point would be super helpful for us to be able to hold on to that vision and continue to work with these relationships that we're starting to build in our own physical communities um, as well as our digital communities and as well as the writing and media industry to which we belong. I know this is getting kind of long so thank you for bearing with me. Um, Okay, and so finally, just ways that we're looking to transform our own business and ways that we're looking to utilize this grant, just to recap. One is to continue to promote and market ourselves um, to new clients. Um, we're working on updating our own website, which you can see at contextand.co. Two is to continue to hold hands with great clients that we know are still themselves adjusting to this new time. So if you look at the track record, record of working clients that we've had, we have strong relationships, we have great clients. Um, we want to be able to come out on the other side of this with them, think through things with them, and not be strapped for time or budgets that probably right now are in really big levels of flux. Um, but then in six months and a year from now, continue to be, you know, studio and agency of record for these people and these clients that we've worked really hard to build relationships with thus far. And then three, we really want to be able to continue to hold this vision of community work. Unpaid work um, is some of the least valued work that there is out there, but we think that we're at a place where the paradigm is shifting um, to where all of us acknowledge that volunteer work, community work, low wage work is some of the most invaluable work that there is. And we'd like to keep that a priority within our own business. Um, but right now we are, we're pretty stressed. And so any help that we could get as an influx to our own funds gives us the flexibility to continue to see that vision and hold on to that vision and execute on that vision as we have for the last several years. Thank you so much for your time and for your consideration, and we really hope to hear from you soon.